Well, it's Prime Minister Modi's birthday today and it's Vishwakarma Jayanti as well. And on the occasion of Vishwakarma Jayanti and his birthday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to launch the Prime Minister Vishwakarma scheme in Delhi Zwarka. The scheme aims to provide skill training and marketing support to artisans engaged in 18 identified traditional trades. Then the Prime Minister will inaugurate the Grand Yashobhumi Convention Center in the presence of 70 ministers at 70 different locations across the country. The Prime Minister will also inaugurate the extension of Delhi Airport Metro Express line from Dwarka Sector 21 to a new metro station or uh, Dwarka Sector 25. Now, there will be a Seva Pashak across the country to mark the Prime Minister's birthday and wishes continues to pour in for uh, Prime Minister Modi. In a mega CNN News 18 exclusive, the centre is planning to push for an uh, increase in the number of organ donations of those who are deceased as the deceased donor can help save age lives. We are flashing the live uh, uh, visuals of Prime Minister Modi travelling in a metro as we were just talking about the extension of the metro line on Prime Minister Modi's birthday and Vishwakarma Jayanti as well. As I just mentioned that Prime Minister Modi is going to inaugurate the extension of the Delhi Airport Metro Express line from Dwarka Sector 21 to a new metro station at Dwarka Sector 25 and these are the live visuals that we are just flashing on your screens. To give us more details about what exactly is happening there and about the extension plan, I have CNN News 18's Arun Danta back with me on the broadcast. Arun, could you just elaborate what exactly is happening there as Prime Minister Modi can be seen travelling from the metro as well? Dwarka Express Way के जरिए एयरपोर्ट और इस कन्वेंशन सेंटर को जोड़ा जाए साथ ही साथ नई दिल्ली से मेट्रो कनेक्टिविटी के जरिए जो हमारी एयरपोर्ट की एक्सप्रेस लाइन है उसके जरिए कैसे इस कन्वेंशन सेंटर को जोड़ा जोड़ा जाए जिससे केवल 20 से 25 मिनट में नई दिल्ली में भी जो रहना रह रहे हैं हमारे विदेशी मेहमान या फिर जो कन्वेंशन में भाग लेने के लिए जो डोमेस्टिक और इंटरनेशनल प्लेयर्स हैं वो कैसे जल्दी से उस कन्वेंशन सेंटर पे जा सकते हैं 20 टू 25 मिनट्स की दूरी में मेट्रो के जरिए उसका एक अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर पर एक जबरदस्त मुजाहिरा आज किया जाएगा और आप देखेंगे कि ये जो तस्वीरें अभी हमें मिली हैं यशोभूमि की वो बहुत ही आश्चर्यजनक है और सुखद आश्चर्यजनक है कि किस तरह से इतने बड़े कॉम्प्लेक्स को तैयार किया गया है कन्वेंशन के लिए एग्जीबिशन के लिए इंसेंटिव के लिए जिसको आप माइस टूरिज्म कहते हैं माइस टूरिज्म की अगर हम बात करें तो ये बहुत सारे जो ट्रेड हैं जिसमें रोजगार के संभावनाएं खोलता है क्योंकि आपको कन्वेंशन ऑर्गेनाइजर्स चाहिए एग्जीबिशन के ऑर्गेनाइजर्स चाहिए डेस्टिनेशन मैनेजमेंट कंपनी चाहिए जो उसको पूरा का पूरा मैनेज करेंगी टूर ऑपरेटर्स की एक बहुत बड़ी श्रृंखला उससे लाभान्वित होगी कई सारे कई सारे लोगों को रोजगार मिलने की उम्मीद है पब्लिक रिलेशन का काम काफी बढ़ जाता है जब भी किसी भी देश में एग्जीबिशन की संख्या जब ज्यादा बढ़ती है हैनवर मेसे का जिक्र कर रहे थे जयंत कृष्णा जी Uh, मुझे भी मौका मिला था हैनवर मेसे फेयर में उसी मेक इन इंडिया के लॉन्च के अवसर पर uh, उस, उस उस जगह पे जाने का और वहीं से शायद प्रेरणा लेकर के और हैनवर हैनवर मेसे जर्मनी का एक ऐसा शहर है जिसकी पूरी की पूरी इकोनॉमी एग्जीबिशन पर निर्भर है वहां पर जब एग्जीबिशन नहीं होते हैं तो लोग अपने घरों को बंद करके घूमने चले जाते हैं केवल एग्जीबिशन के टाइम में आते हैं और वहां का हर घर होटल में तब्दील हो जाता है वहां पर लोगों को जो ब्रेड एंड ब्रेड एंड ब्रेकफास्ट स्कीम्स के जरिए लोगों को अपने घरों को रेंट करने का मौका मिलता है जो लोकल इकोनॉमी है उसी से ड्राइव होती है तो क्यों नहीं हम अपने भारत को माइस टूरिज्म में जो केवल अभी एक परसेंट का योगदान देता है पूरे दुनिया में उसको हम क्यों ना बढ़ा करके दो परसेंट तीन परसेंट पर ले जाएं और यही जो हमारी नेशनल स्ट्रेटजी है टूरिज्म की जिसमें माइस टूरिज्म को लेकर के जो स्ट्रेटजी बनाई गई 2022 में उसमें हमने कोशिश की है कि अगले पांच साल बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट होने जा रहे हैं माइस टूरिज्म के लिहाज से जिसमें हम अपने देश के कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन को जो कि वर्ल्ड के माइस टूरिज्म में केवल एक फीसदी है उसको दोगुना करना चाहते हैं दो तक ले जाना चाहते हैं जो वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग है उसमें भारत की रैंकिंग अभी अट्ठाईसवीं है जो पहली रैंकिंग है उसमें अमेरिका सबसे ऊपर नजर आता है 900 से ज्यादा इवेंट्स अमेरिका में किए जाते हैं स्पष्ट तौर पर वहां पर कुछ एडेड एडवांटेज भी हैं क्योंकि इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस जैसे कि यूनाइटेड नेशंस डब्ल्यूएचओ आदि के जो हेडक्वार्टर्स हैं वो वहां पर हैं सीधी तस्वीरें आप देख रहे हैं तो अब से थोड़ी देर पहले ये हमें तस्वीरें मिली हैं जो मेट्रो के डेडिकेटेड लाइन्स के जरिए प्रधानमंत्री ने वहां वहां पर पहुंचे हैं इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन सेंटर में इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन सेंटर में और उससे पहले मेट्रो के डेडिकेटेड लाइन्स में सफर करते हुए लोगों के साथ सेल्फी खिंचाते हुए ये खूबसूरत तस्वीरें 
बहुत लोग खुश बच्चे खास तौर पर जो परिवार के लोग वहां पर सफर कर रहे थे प्रधानमंत्री के साथ सेल्फी लेते हुए और हमेशा की तरह ये बच्चों के साथ खास तौर पर प्रधानमंत्री की जो बातचीत है हम लगातार देखते रहे कि जब भी वो मेट्रो से सफर करते हैं इस तरह की सुखद तस्वीरें हमें मिलती रही हैं और एक बात और कि जब भी प्रधानमंत्री मेट्रो से सफर करते हैं अपने मेट्रो का टिकट खुद खरीदते हैं और उसके बाद सारे नियमों का पालन करते हुए संदेश भी देते हैं लोगों को कि हमें भले भले ही कितने आप इंपॉर्टेंट पोजीशन पर चले जाएं या फिर कितनी मुश्किलें हों लेकिन आपको जो व्यवस्थाएं हैं उनका पालन करना सभी के लिए पूरे राष्ट्र के ही हित में है तो ये आप थोड़ी देर पहले की तस्वीरें देख रहे हैं जयंत कृष्णा जी अब हमारे साथ इस वक्त आप देख रहे हैं सीधी तस्वीरें यशोभूमि यशोभूमि द्वारिका सेक्टर 26 द्वारिका सेक्टर 21 से एयरपोर्ट एक्सप्रेस लाइन जो है वो समर्पित की जा चुकी है स्पष्ट तौर पर जो हम आपको बता रहे थे कि 940 करोड़ रुपए की लागत से बनाया गया ये स्पेशल मेट्रो कॉरिडोर अब उसको समर्पित किया जा चुका है जो स्पेशल तौर पर इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन सेंटर को सीधे एयरपोर्ट से जोड़ती है और एयरपोर्ट की डेडिकेटेड लाइन का विस्तार करती है अब से थोड़ी देर पहले इस डेडिकेटेड मेट्रो लाइन को प्रधानमंत्री ने राष्ट्र को समर्पित किया और आपको खासियत बताएं कि ये मेट्रो लाइन सीधे तौर पर आपको इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन सेंटर के फॉर्म में लेकर के जाती है जहां पर आप इंटरनेशनल स्तर की अब कन्वेंशन और एग्जीबिशन को होते हुए देखेंगे प्रोफेसर अनिल कुमार ये डेडिकेटेड मेट्रो लाइन का होना और इंटीग्रेटेड अप्रोच एक तरह से इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के साथ मल्टी मॉडल कनेक्टिविटी को जोड़ना और उसके बाद उसका फायदा पहुंचाना कितना मल्टीप्लायर इंपैक्ट डाल सकता है इकोनॉमी पे प्रोफेसर अनिल कुमार क्या आप मेरे साथ हैं I have seen in news 18 Arun Dada joining me back on the broadcast Arun as we just saw Prime Minister Modi actually dedicating a dedicated uh, extended uh, Delhi Airport Metro Express line from Dwarka sector 21 to Dwarka sector 25 and also the inauguration of Grand Yashobhumi what are the key takeaways what what do you have to tell us Well, that's right. Uh, we are seeing visuals on our screens that Prime Minister Modi is boarding that uh, metro. Of course, so this is the extension to the airport metro line, uh, which has now extended to Sector 25, Dwarka. Of course, it will be. beneficial for uh, this yashobhumi convention center as well uh, people will not face much difficulty actually to come to this place if they are planning to come uh, from the airport so this will also reduce the total uh, time which uh, earlier used to take to reach uh, dwarka 25 and of course uh, to the airport now prime minister modi after uh, you know uh, launching that uh, extension metro line he will be reaching here at yashobhumi in uh, dwarka sector 25 which is of course uh, will be the place from where the pm vishwakarma scheme will be launched by prime minister modi so there are three three things which prime minister modi will be launching today on his uh, on his uh, birthday and uh, and uh, one of course is the is the is the is the yashobhumi which will be dedicated to the nation it has been uh, made uh, in in the area of around 73000 square meters and uh, it uh, uh, it has around 15 uh, seminar halls and 13 meeting uh, meeting rooms of course along with the ballroom as well and this is going to be one of uh, the biggest uh, convention centers globally that we are seeing and prime minister modi will be launching it today so this is going to be the launch of the first phase of uh, this entire project and it has costed around 54 uh 5400 uh, crore to the government uh, government uh, of india and of, of course uh, all important uh, vishwakarma scheme will be launched by prime minister modi as he uh, spoke about it from the ramparts of red fort uh, on 15 august this year itself that how he uh, wants to give benefits to all those artisans who are working for uh, the culture tradition and art of the country and therefore they need assistance of the central government at this time uh, when of course uh, uh, you know there are various other uh, other competitors uh, coming in the market and therefore government is sending a clear signal that we want to protect our tradition culture and uh, you know art and therefore uh, this uh, loan this mortgage free loan which will be given to the artisans which of course include uh, uh, the carpenters the bar barbers uh, iron iron smith goldsmith uh, 
brown smith black smith all these people who are uh, involved in these uh, works they will be getting this benefit of uh, a 3 lakh loan from the government side in the first year of course it will be 1 lakh which later will be increased to uh, to 2 lakh more so in total 3 yeah. lakhs assistance and of course uh, it will uh, have 5% interest on it, which government say is uh, the lowest, uh, so that these people do not face any difficulty. So Prime Minister Modi, in a short while from now, uh, after inaugurating that uh, Dwarka metro line towards the airport, he will be reaching the Yashabhumi here, and uh, all uh, the preparations are done. You know, uh, people have gathered here to listen to Prime Minister Modi, and of course, uh, 70 ministers, top 70 ministers, which of course include Union Home Minister Amit Shah, he will be in Ahmedabad, Rajnath Singh in Lucknow, Anurag Thakur in Himachal Pradesh, Smriti Rani in Jhansi, uh, and you know, uh, so on and so forth. So ministers have been given responsibility to go to uh, 70 cities of the country, and Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate that scheme virtually from uh, uh, Yashobhumi here, and of course then all other ministers will be connected through that video conferencing. So this is yeah. going to be a significant move vis-a-vis uh, -vis upcoming elections are concerned, because remember, as Prime Minister Modi uh, himself spoke about it that the, the large number of these people come from the OBC community and we all know that how important the OBC vote bank is. You know, country has around 45 to 50 percent population of OBC uh, people. So, you know, therefore, not only, you know, a social message, but of course, uh, politically, it, uh, you know, it might benefit BJP in, up, in the upcoming elections. Well, Arun, as you just said that Prime Minister Modi on his birthday gifted uh, our nation three grantings. It's a Vishwakarma scheme and we are expected him to speak about that and introduce it in a just a short while from now. Yashobhumi, the grand Yashobhumi as you were just talking about it as well and the extended metro line, the dedicated extended metro line as well. As far as the theme of Yashobhumi is concerned, we are learning that uh, Prime Minister Modi is actually pitching to push the craftsmanship heritage and Indians uh, art forward after Bharat Mandapam scheme as well. I want to understand from you what are the key additions that have been made in Yashobhumi to represent this particular uh, uh, pitch of uh, pu uh, pushing uh, Indian craftsmanship forward. We'll see. Uh, you know, uh, Prime Minister Modi has uh, already talked about the importance of this scheme and how it is going to benefit uh, the artisans. There are 18 groups which Prime Minister Modi mentioned uh, will be part of uh, this uh, Vishwakarma scheme, which of course will be getting benefit out of uh, this scheme. And, uh, and the, the thinking, the thought in the government is that uh, all these people are slowly uh, you know, uh, leaving their work because they are finding it, uh, uh, it, uh, it not attractive. It also, you know, g getting a lot of losses for them, and therefore uh, they are thinking uh, that uh, government should provide them this assistance so that they can continue with this work because this is something which is related to the art, culture, and heritage of the country. And government wants to ensure that on one side, where we uh, go for the state of the art technologies, we also don't forget our roots, which is connected to these people because these people are actually making those uh, traditional things they are uh, uh, they are they, they are the participants of uh, that uh, culture and ethos which is the part of indian craft and culture so therefore to promote their art and culture it is important to provide them that financial financial assistance and through this uh, vishwakarma scheme they will be getting uh, 1 lakh in the first year now what happens that there are people who needed loans but it, it was very difficult for them to get loans because banks would ask you for a more mortgage you know in in return what you are offering to bank uh, you know, uh, that was something which was the biggest problem. So under this scheme, government has ensured that there will not be any mortgage. This loan will be mortgage free. Of course, there will be interest rate. But the government is saying that it is minimum 5% interest rate which they are giving to the uh, giving to these artisans. Uh, and of course, in the first year, it will be 1 lakh. And then second year, it will be increased to a 3 lakh. So this is this 30, 13,000 crore which government has allocated for this scheme is for five years and perhaps it will be increased in coming few years as uh, government sources have already indicated. So it is a very, very important day and Prime Minister Modi has always uh, ensured, even in the past, remember uh, that on his birthday, 
you know even on even last year uh, he you know he last to last year in fact uh, there was there was country made a record of highest vaccination in the country 2.3 a crore people vaccinated on his birthday you know uh, and uh, before that he was in in varanasi you know uh, you know so uh, every year on his birthday prime minister modi ensures that he does something uh, which uh, has uh, nationwide importance which has a connect with the people and therefore once again this time around on his birthday on 17th uh, prime minister modi is launching this vishwakarma scheme to benefit all these artisans uh, who largely comes from the obc community Well, uh, Arun, as we were just calling this Yasho Bhumi a grand center, a grand convention center, we are learning that it is going to be one of the largest one um, in the world for the mice destination. Mice is basically a meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibition spot. What makes this particular convention center such a grand center? Well, that's right. This is one of the biggest uh, convention centers globally, and it has uh, it has acquired uh, area around seventy three thousand square meter, uh, and uh, it, uh, it, uh, it 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 has it has costed around fifty four thousand crore to the government. But of course, uh, the kind of infrastructure which they have created, it will uh, of course uh, increase the employment. It will also give. Uh, india the opportunity to host uh, multilateral or international level events here it has around 15 uh, uh, convention centers 13 meeting rooms and one ballroom remember hmm. this uh, uh, convention center is the first phase of this entire project there will be uh, various other things which will be completed in coming few years but right now prime minister modi is inaugurating uh, this convention center which is india international convention an expo center here in dwarka so uh, it is uh, in fact uh, on the lines of bharat mandapam we had seen that how smoothly india conduct india organized the g20 meeting in bharat mandapam and this has been prepared on that scale as well so on 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 global platform we can say that these two uh, centers that india have created one yashobhumi and second bharat mandapam have state of the art facilities and uh, it is no less than any international uh, convention center in fact uh, one of the largest and one of the uh, the, the bestest convention centers globally so prime minister modi on his birthday uh, you know uh, dedicating this yashobhumi this convention center to the people of this country and of course this uh, this project has uh, state of the art facility used in fact uh, 100% water waste water of uh, this uh, this this center will be reused so that facility has also been used in this convention center and there will be various other important aspects of uh, this convention center which we'll also get to know once uh, you know the entire project will be completed but of course it's a huge uh, uh, huge uh, you know dedication Uh, which uh, prime minister modi will be doing today uh, for the people of this country by launching this uh, yashobhumi on his uh, 73rd birthday beside of course launching the pm vishwakarma scheme where the artisans of uh, the country will get benefit uh, mortgage free loan uh, you know uh, and uh, you know this is something which which is to protect their art culture and heritage and also to promote their work so that uh, you know they don't uh, actually leave their work and work in this direction to make india a self reliant and a country which always uh, gives high importance to their tradition culture and heritage heritage and craft well as we are talking arun we are flashing the visuals of prime minister modi actually offering prayers to lord vishwakarma on screens of our viewers as well he is actually taking a tour of that uh, grand yashobhumi we were just talking about arun i want to understand from you the seva pashak element that we just introduced to our uh, viewers what exactly is seva pashak and what do we know about that happening on prime minister modi's birthday garmi ho rahi to waise bhi frame mein nahi to pakad mera chala Well, see, uh, Prime Minister Modi is turning 73 today, and uh, BJP has organized uh, various programs across the country. And it is it has been a practice of every year that BJP celebrates this as a Seva Pakwada, 
where uh, they, uh, you know, they organize various uh, blood donation camps, where you know different uh, exhibitions in different parts of uh, the country, and of course, importantly, the works which Modi government has done in nine years that will also be reflected in this uh, Seva Pakwada of of a fortnight. So it is starting today. Uh, you know, we are seeing even in Delhi there are various programs of uh, tree plantation, blood donation camps being organized uh, by the party. Uh, and uh, the strict instructions, in fact, uh, uh, ha has been given to all the state in charges, state leaders, local cadres of Bharatiya Janata Party that how they have to send a positive message on the birthday of Prime Minister Modi, how different programs need to be organized in different parts of uh, the country. And uh, this, these, this Seva Patwada will last till 2nd of October, Gandhi Jayanti. So from 17th to uh, 2nd of October, this Seva Patwada will be celebrated and observed by Bharatiya Janata Party. And also, uh, importantly, uh, uh, you know, remember that uh, in this entire uh, fortnight, uh, MPs, MLAs have been asked to go in their constituencies and be part of the Seva Pakwada programs. And uh, and Prime Minister Modi, of course, uh, today when he will address the gathering here in uh, in Yashobumi in Dwarka, he will of course highlight to all these things in his speech because it is not only his birthday today; uh, it is also a day when he is. Long launching PM Vishwakarma scheme which will benefit a large section of, uh, of artisans and uh, but also he is uh, inaugurating the Yasho Bhumi, one of the largest convention centers which is uh, going to uh, you know help uh, the country in multiple ways it will you know uh, it will uh, generate many 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 uh, many jobs uh, revenues and of course uh, big international le level events can be organized at this place so you know this these three things of course uh, the metro extension which prime minister modi just launched so all these three things are very very important and it has come on a day when Prime Minister Modi is celebrating his 73rd birthday.